Okay, uh, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about what do you do uh, when uh, your family gets into trouble, uh, for example they get into some kind of financial trouble uh, and uh, you're concerned with your family. So if the thing to do when uh, your family get in trouble is to practice two things which I would do, uh, which is the witness observer and feeling out any feelings. Now the reason I would do this is because uh, oops. the reason I do this is because um, when you're in the witness observer or when you let go of any emotions or any story associated with what's happening to your family, there's a greater chance of miracles happening for them, and also uh, you're able to then carry on in alignment with the universe uh, and not go into a state of uh, non-functioning or despair or heavy emotions or lots of negative thoughts around it. So if uh, a family, family get into financial trouble, if you can um, just sit with your feelings and release any types of uh, emotions that are coming up, uh, let go of the stories or practice being in the observer of any thoughts about the family or any feelings that are arising, uh, as you start to transcend the emotions and the thoughts, uh, you become, uh, you'll go into states of pure witnessing and you'll totally let go of the, the drama and the story. Realize with this, because you're in alignment with the universe, there's a greater chance of miracles happening for them because you've released, um, you've re released your own story. Remember, at a spiritual level, there is a uh, there's a oneness. So as you let go of the thoughts and the ego, uh, you're inviting greater light for your family and for yourself, and you'll be able to function better. Also, when you let go of the story, you'll have intuitive thoughts and actions which will allow you to be of help to them and to carry on functioning uh, at a high spiritual vibration. So understand that by letting go of the guilt and the negative story, you'll be serving the universe and serving your family and also uh, staying in a resourceful place.